Shin's got a new blog here. It's called Catch Clean Cook. Clatch, <laughs> catch Clean Cock, I was going to say, but it's not. It's Catch Clean Cook and Camp. Monster, bluegill, and catfish dinner. Gunshots in my, by my, bro. One of the most, uns, for someone that does, again, I know he's not a social media manager, but for someone that produces a podcast and social media shit, like, that's not the greatest title in the world, is it? Catch, cl catch, catch, clean, cook, and camp. Monster, bluegill, and catfish dinner. Gunshots by my apartment. Kind of sounds like a Kodak, Kodak black bar, isn't it? Right? Catch, clean, cook, and kind of sounds like Kodak Black right it kind of sounds like a Kodak Black but anyway let's play this uh let's play 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 let's see what this guy is saying boy Jin Soo Yi Right, we back. <laughs> right, we are here. And I don't think I do this enough, but I'm gonna do this even more often. I do it quite a bit, but not all the time. I'm gonna make sure you guys know which side I'm at, so you guys can visit it as well if you like it. So this is site four one four. It was only This nigga's always alone in it. He's always alone. <laughs> Chin man, fucking hell, bro! Like, go to like a meetup or something, man. I don't know. Like, learn to play squash, five aside, darts, pool. Meet some people, bro. Like, come on, man. A couple of lads, couple of ladies. Just it doesn't even need to be anything like romantic. Just like hang out with people, bro. Like, come on, man. <sighs> like good waterfront site that was available when I booked. Everything else is taken. But there's the neighbor, the closest neighbor there. But this is our site right here. It's pretty big. Trash cans right there. And the lake is just right there. This tent is so funny because it's so damn big. Is he pretending to talk? Oh, okay. I thought he pretended to talk to somebody off camera, but there's a guy here. I thought he pretended to talk to somebody. I swear, I was like, no way. He pretended to have friends. That's even worse. Okay, there's actually somebody there, a friend of his. Okay, there's one, bro. My buddy cooked up this steak. I was about to say, that looks better than any steak I've ever seen Chin make. And obviously he didn't make it. So let's just quickly, I'll just get the fucking um, quality uploaded. Let's get to 720. So he, yeah, he didn't make it. Because anytime he puts stuff on the grill, it doesn't look good. Let's go, let's go back there. Oh. Yeah, that, that, that looks better than the stuff that Chin usually, you know, rustles up on the fucking barbecue. So big up the bro and the friend for being there because you're keeping this guy well fed. Oh yeah, my buddy cooked up this steak, and I think this is the perfect piece right here. We shall see, though. It's a very powerful seasoning. He got pre-seasoned at the butcher shop, but that's good. This place is incredible. Site four one four four fourteen, Lake Kachuma. If you can get it, definitely get it. There's also a pathway to go down to the lake if you want to go fishing. Mexican street corner. What? Mexican street corner. I don't. Do, do you see that little? Do you see the? Do, do you see the little, the little Asian walk? Or was he dragging his feet? Let's see. Is he doing that thing again? Mexican street corner. Okay, no, no, no. Okay. Morning's here. I'm about to brush my tooth. Oh, it's weak. Oh. 
Exactly, yo. That's the thing that gets me. See, that's the thing that gets me. Yo made a Zach the great point here. Chin is almost cool. There's nothing wrong with going out to the great outdoors, escaping from, you know, your laptop, getting, you know, getting in touch with nature, popping up in a barbie, you know, getting some cold brews there with a couple of friends, playing some music, fucking around. It's all good. But it's just something sad about the way he does it. Even those two little corner of the cobs that they were grilling. You've never seen two sadder looking pieces of corn in your entire life. You know? Like, that's just something missing. Like, this is inherently quite cool. Like, look at the view. Look at how beautiful that is. The lake. Like, everything about it. The fresh air. Right? Clear skies. But it's just... There's something about it just bums you out. <laughs> you kind of want to give him a hug, you know? I don't know why. I don't know why it is. <sighs> Any more questions, you son of a bitch? Goodness, two ADR copy from Korea. Thank you, Omar. Check out this nifty little son of a bitch I got over here. Yeah, Joseph's right though. At least he is out. That's true. At least he's out doing stuff. He could it could be worse, you know what I mean? At least he's actually out. Um This is decent. So, you know. Big up him. You gotta start somewhere, I guess, isn't it? It's called a snap or snap GoPro thing. It's actually magnetic. Watch. Snaps on like that. It's beautiful. You can adjust the lanyard to the height you want. And you can put it underneath your shirt or hoodie as well. It's like magnet, super strong. So you put it underneath the hoodie. And you go, bam, check that out. That's pretty cool. <laughs> well, it's always kind of a biznatch to bring all your stuff down. <laughs> it's like he's showing his mummy's outfit. <laughs> no? <laughs> Mom, look. <laughs> well done son you got dressed up by yourself he's just like what's he doing what's bro doing i swear he looks like doesn't he look like this doesn't he look like this look some um, uh is it a red carpet does he look a little bit like this <laughs> do you remember this does he look a little bit like that's <laughs> that iconic Summer Walker picture on the red carpet where she's being all awkward and shit? Do you remember this picture? Doesn't it, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't the chin look like that a little bit? Big up Austin Casey, appreciate you. Is no? he or is he way too into the gear and stuff? If he were to just actually sit down and have a drink with his friend and have a good conversation, it would be way more interesting. Bingo, Austin Casey, exactly. Because he takes a shitload of stuff with him. He takes like a whole fucking car full of shit. Again, I only really do camping when I go to festivals. So maybe you have to take all that stuff with you. But I think he overpacks. He takes like everything. Like he takes half of his house with him when he goes camping. It's just too much gear. Do you remember that time I showed you the thing? He had like, he had like this amazing light, this lamp on the table. And then he also had another fucking headlamp on. Like just all these beams, all these electricity. It's just like, bro... Calma, relax, embrace the environment, have a drink. Sometimes I don't, don't even play music. Just listen to the fucking noises around you, the fucking, you know, whatever. The, the animals and the insects around you fucking singing and chirping. Just listen to that a little bit. Chill out. Take it easy. Have a drink. Have a line. Inject yourself with something. I don't know. A tab. Something, bro. Mix it up. But yeah, instead we get this. We see these Summer Walker type ass poses, right? <laughs> Who did it better? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's always kind of a biznatch to bring all your stuff down. <sighs> when you're trying to film as well. See what I'm saying? When you're trying to film and you got to carry your stuff down to the lake. I 
I changed my rig to a uh, Carolina rig. Sliding sinker, small hook, piece of liver, use some threading on it so the liver didn't fall out. So we shall see what happens. The bobber thing didn't work because it kept going from there all the way to here constantly. So I'm doing the bottom rig for Carolina. Let's see what happens. These clip chairs suck for uh, this type of terrain, by the way, because if I just lean a little Bobby. bit. <laughs> yeah. It's 400 bucks a chair, but yeah, it sucks. It's like almost 100 bucks a chair. Riveting conversation between the boys there. Absolute riveting stuff. I don't want a shark or a big stingray. I just want to fish on this lovely day. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. No, that's weird. No, you got something. It was there. You got weeds. Well, what the hell was that, though? Hold on. I see the weeds, but something fit. Oh, yeah. Something's on it. Something's on it. Oh, damn. It's off, dude. Dude, hook's gone. Okay, that would make a lot more sense. What Otter says here, if I know the story correctly, Chin was actually normie was actually a normie and fairly popular in high school and college. And it was working with the two idiots, Brendan and Brian, that made him the isolated weirdo. That would actually make sense because he has the, he has potential to be cool. He is kind of cool. He has a kind of cool job, lives a kind of cool lifestyle. But there's something about it when it all comes together and you see it in these vlogs that just makes you sad. You know, you kind of want to be his friend. You kind of want to, take him out for a drink take him to a strip club you want to take him on 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 a holiday where he doesn't take his ho fucking laptop with him or something like you want to just like show him a good time because this doesn't it's on paper it looks like a good time but he's not making it a good time you know he's making it seem miserable like pff, again maybe projection who knows but i don't know <sighs> I did get a really big bite, try to hook it, and then somehow it got caught in the weeds or something. It's the shrubbery here. Ugh. We're trying again. Same thing, Carolina rig, liver. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna take my chair because I was gonna fail. When you broke, you broke. You need duct tape. Oh shit, did it. Did you? Oh, get it. Get it? What the? They took for a ride. Literally, when I freaking. Please, please. You saw it, right? Yeah, I'll Again. Oh, I can't tell what. Why? Riveting stuff, bro. I can't tell. Fucking hell, bro. Oh, it's on, it's on. <laughs> yes, baby. We got a fish, baby. We got a fish. It'll land it, though. Oh, dude, it's a giant bluegill. So what? Catch. Dude, this is great. This is great. This is great eating fish. So. <laughs> oh, my. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, shit. Sorry. This is one of the biggest bluegills I've ever got in my life. Holy mother. All right, this is gonna be a catch and cook giant bluegill. This is the biggest bluegill I've ever caught in my life. First scale, which the camera's not gonna catch it, but let's see. Is that a giant bluegill or a giant fish? Are bluegills meant to be smaller? Because that doesn't look giant to me. And I've been like super excited to try this scaler because it's like a bronze scaler. It just looks so cool. How much gear does this fucking you know? This guy's obsessed. You know, Austin Casey was right. He's obsessed with gear, isn't it? Like he brought a particular scaler. Um, sorry, um, what brass? A fucking brass scaler. <laughs> he buy that from fucking Muji or something, right? He's got one hundred dollar ch fucking chairs to sit down on. Fucking camp, like f gear, gear. Look, just take some fucking rods with you. Take some lures, whatever you're meant to do to fucking fish with. Go there, fish. Whatever you catch, you catch. Make it fun. Sometimes going, 
again, I don't, I've never been to a lot of camping trips again. I only camp when I first when I go to festivals. But I'd imagine part of the experience of making it fun is sometimes not having the things that you need. Like you forgot to bring something and you just figure out with what you already have. That's part of the fun. You know, you have, to, you have a bit of banter with whoever you're with. It becomes a bit of an inside joke that you just keep talking about the whole entire time you're there. But hear me, he brought, <laughs> he brought everything. Like, I don't know if you've got this this store in the US, but we have a store here called the Deca- is it called the Cafalon? That's where you buy you, you buy all your shit, all your camping shit, right? It's usually the place that you buy it. Do you guys what's what's the version of, of the ones that you guys have? We've got a store we've we've got this called the Cafalon. What's your version? He he must have bought the entire shop. This is what he bought. He bought the entire fucking shop. That's what he did. He bought the entire thing. I swear to God. <laughs> he bought the entire thing. Um, was it Dix? You guys have got Dix, Bass Pro, R R E, was it R Re? Yeah, R E I. Academy Sports, Bass Pro Shop. Okay, Bass Pro. Oh, Bass Pro Shop is the one that everyone wears that hat, isn't it? The Bass Pro Shop's hat. That's where everyone buys that shit from. Okay, cool. We have R E. Oh, Jesus Christ, this guy, too much gear. Gear overload. With the wooden handle. And so the arm. Gotta do it today. Life is so dull. Leave the dish here, though. What? Leave the bait here. How much meat you got in there? We're not gonna waste anything. All good to go. We eat this tonight. Ooh. If you know me, you know what? I don't like to freaking eat breakfast. I just want to like fast in the morning because it helps me to like control my weight. But we're camping, so I can't tell you how excited I am to use this new this uh, GSI outdoors cooking kit so i'm gonna make some breakfast because we're camping there we go is that a sponsor <laughs> or is it more gear <sighs> i love this there's no handle how much is that thing let's let's just how much is that thing gs outdoors pinnacle base campus small GSI Outdoors Pinnacle was it Base Camper, right? Camp Base Camper Small. How much is this thing? How much you want to bet in the chat without Googling? Don't Google it, you fucking cunts. How much you want to bet? But what's the bet in the chat? I'm gonna say two hundred. What's the bet before I press it? Before I press enter, what's what's the bet? I'm gonna say two hundred. One fifty, fifty dollars, one fifty, one fifty okay, cool. 150, I'm going to say $200. He brought $200, just specifically for this fucking camping, to, 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 to fucking fry some eggs. Let's see, two, I say $200. People say 180 120 170 150 $1, 250 Okay, cool. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Because I've got a feeling this... <laughs> let's see how much this shit is. Uh, get back on the screen. Oh. Okay, it's one... According to Google... It is one, yeah, what's it? I guess this is the one, isn't it? 120, one for, in the UK anyway. So I'm assuming that's like what? 150 in the US, $150? Jesus Christ, bro. Yeah, let's just go into web, the, the official website. Fucking hell, bro. He brought that just to fucking fry an egg, specifically for this trip. He just, I don't know, figure it out with a fucking Bunsen burner or something. Nah, let's just buy this particular thing. Yeah, so it's one, what is it? There we go. It's one, it's one twenty dollars. Fucking hell, bro. Chin Su Yi. Absolute unadulterated gearhead, isn't it? Like, it's just not even. That is actually like pure gearhead shit. One twenty dollars. Okay, I guess. Anyway, let's go back to the thing. Yeah, we, okay, with taxes, that's more like 135 <laughs> to fry some eggs. <laughs> Honestly, this guy's too much. Outdoors cooking kit. So I'm going to make some breakfast because we're camping. There we go. I love this. There's no handle. And I've got two handles, one from REI that I bought separately and one that came with it. <laughs> he brought a separate handle it wasn't enough 
all the fucking shit that comes with this stuff yeah right it's all it's don't remember, it's cool it's self-contained i'm guessing you can you can steam things you can fry things right it's all in one you kind of get the concept it's kind of easy to fucking understand but that one handle that already comes with it wasn't enough you had to buy an extra handle <laughs> <laughs> Bacon, sausage, and eggs. The only problem is I have to freaking do a work call in like 10 minutes. Doesn't even have peace to go and camp. He has to fucking be on the phone with bent pixels. Jesus Christ. And not just one work call, two work calls. One at 10, one at 11. I mean, what's better than a corned beef hash? Oh yeah, that sounds good though. Breakfast with eggs and bacon and sausage? Come on, dog. Mm -hmm. Hey, how's it going? You're outside. Yeah, dude. With nature. <laughs> exactly. Nice. A little bit over 10% CTR. And that one was actually... Why did he cook it like that? Why? Why did he cook it like that? A little bit more from the browsing search. So oh, it's been... Yeah. Super solid performance across the board. Chin, enjoy the lake, and uh, everybody have a great weekend. You guys too. Uh, you guys too. Awesome. Thanks, right guys. Take care. Appreciate you guys. Bye. Bye. All right, now that the call's done, let's finish cooking up. Corned beef hash with some fried eggs and some bacon. And I might throw in some sausages, but I might save that for later. Just gonna take this one. All right, I'm going to get a little bit of this corned beef hat. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know what to say. I'm just going to play a little play, man. With some fried eggs, sunny side up, and some bacon. I'm going to get it in my belt. You, you call that sunny side up? Didn't you just mix it all in a fucking big, like a fucking fried stew? How is that sunny side up? <laughs> Just because you see a yolk. <laughs> How am I bugging? How is that sunny side up? He just mixed it all in the frying pan. <laughs> sunny side up. <laughs> I can see the relax. Ellie, before the next call. I mean, come on. Man. Oh, exactly, Coiler. 2K in gear and a $2 breakfast. <laughs> exactly. You know what? He might actually be better off buying... He might be actually better off, right? Camping, seeing what they can cook and catch, whatever thing they miss out on, just order. Just get it fucking door dashed to you wherever you are there in the middle of nowhere. You better just doing that. <sighs> what the fuck is that thing at the back? That looks expensive. What's this? What's that called? A jackery. What's a jackery? What's a jack jackery? Is that what jackery? Jackery camp power outdoors. What? What is that? Is that like a? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god! It's four hundred. Yo, Toyota Prius. I don't know what model that one is. Let's say is it two thousand and twenty? Price. Is it two twenty? Is there something to be said? Is the gear in his car worth more than his actual car? <laughs> is the camping 
equipment that he has in that that fucking site worth more than his actual vehicle that he's driving? <laughs> is it a 2020 Prius or is it like a 29 or is it maybe it's a 20 2018 Prius? Because it looks like the ones that you get in Ubers, isn't it? When you're jumping in an Uber. Is it a 20? I don't know what it is. But bro, this guy has a generator that's like 500 pounds. That's like what, 600? Like, God almighty, bro. Chin. Like, like Coiler says, 2K gear, $2 breakfast. Wrong priorities, man. That battery costs more than his car. <laughs> I don't know how he does this. Again, for the people that camp in the chat, please, I, 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 might, I, I swear I'm correct, because when I go camping for festivals, I try and buy the, I try and basically spend the least amount I can spend on the camping gear. But if I can spend a bit, I'll spend it maybe on a tent or maybe the air mattress um, or maybe the blankets, the electric blankets and the pillow. There's some things you just, you don't, you know, you don't kind of cut corners on. But you do try to like keep it under a budget so that you can have more fun. So like do fun shit, you know, whatever. You don't just spend it all on the fucking gear. It's not that fucking important. And if you need something, guess what? You've got a next door neighbor there. You just fucking knock on their tent and say, hey, can you help me out? I might need some sugar or some fuck, whatever you need. You don't need to take half of your fucking life with you and take a fucking $400 generator. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, seven days. The more you spend, the less inconvenience um, in camping. Uh, <laughs> how much it costs to drive to four season? Fucking hell, bro! I talked a lot from Sarah. Exactly, uh, jo Joseph Jackson. Twenty dollars of drugs would have tripled the fun of a two K camping trip. Exactly. <laughs> Just a couple, just a couple tabs of acid would have made this so much fun, way funner than that. F yeah, that is wild, bro. He has some gear because you can't see it with the, the, the my windows blocking it. But look, he has a whole table full of shit. Like, like what? <sighs> so much stuff. Bro, oh, bread. Funnily enough, that table. Looks like the table that they, you know, who says in the chat? Someone in the chat is always annoyed at the tables they have in the podcast. These guys are thick boy. They've always got a bottle or just stuff on the fucking table. That's what it looks like. It looks like just one of the, you know, the podcast studio tables. There's just stuff on it. Just unnecessary shit. Like I said before, I don't carve it up. When you're camping, I go in deep. When I'm camping, I go in deep. Pause. This pairs so wonderfully with the corned beef hash, eggs, and bacon because it's very subtle, a little tart, and this is very like salty and savory. It's the best combination. Try it out for yourself. And by the way, don't, don't be ashamed to put some ketchup on this. I love me some ketchup, but I would have gotten the low sugar one, low sodium one. Of course you brought ketchup. Oh yeah, with the ketchup. Who remembers to bring fucking ketchup campus? Fuck. Alright, so my buddy caught a gigantic bluegill, bigger than mine. And uh, he's going to the market right now to get some supplies. So I'm gonna go ahead and gut it. I've already shown you guys one processing of a bluegill, but this is a massive one, so I'll show you this as well. And yeah, we made sure to bonk him with that little bat there. But this is a massive bluegill. I would say my hand is pretty big. <laughs> Chin killing these fishes with a fucking <laughs> with a baseball bat that could kill a human. <laughs> this bluegill is bigger than my hand. I should probably measure this. I'm surprised he didn't pull out his Glock and just shoot it. <laughs> Started shooting to make sure it was dead. This guy, hold on, I'm gonna measure it. Hopefully, you guys can see it. Ten and a half inch, I think. Even more. The scales are flying onto my face right now. But it's all good, baby. This is my little Oppenol knife. 
let's let's do that as well. Opinel life. How much? How, how much is the open? Is an Opinel life? How much is that Opinel? <laughs> <laughs> this guy is too much. You could just grab a knife from the kitchen and leave it in the pool. <laughs> I'm out. I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore, bro. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Look at the knives he went to buy. Oh my god, Chin. This guy is not right in the head. And he cooks like shit. And he went to buy a specialist, a specialist, specialist fucking knife to use. And he cooks like fucking absolute garbage. What's the point of having this knife if you cook the way he does? I don't get it. And you're going camping. Like, it's not that deep. It's actually pretty affordable. It's been kind of cheap, actually, for what it is. Go to the butthole. So this is what we have. Let's go ahead and get this guy in the cooler first. Season them up and then uh, we'll get it ready for frying. And eat it up. And I'll show you guys all that stuff. This here Carolina rig with liver and a night crawler, a garlic night crawler, will result in the biggest catfish you've ever seen on my channel. Or maybe not, I don't know. Is that rod like four grand as well? Knowing chin. We'll be back. Look how adorable this is right here. Oh my gosh. So cute. Yeah, get inspired, man. That's what you should be doing. Get inspired, bro. That should be like you, bro. Get inspired. Ask them how they how they met. I bet you it wasn't camping with the bro. Like surrounded by fucking laptops and four hundred dollar generators, bro. Butter. Look at the size of these guys. Oil and butter, yeah. You catch you catch a fish fresh from the water and then you smother it in butter. Yeah. You're scaling the fish in the pan. I should have done it before putting it in the pan. Is this guy okay? He's scaling the fish while he's frying it. <laughs> no, you know, but all bones included. Has he even chopped like... A have we seen him chop off the head? Like, yeah. So we're still cooking the fish. It's gonna be good to go in about like <laughs> ten My minutes, God. I think. My. So he. Well, why did he buy that knife for? Then I don't understand. He bought the knife to gut it. Did he scale it? I'm going to order DoorDash, man. I'm not eating that shit. Get me, get me a DoorDash. Like, DoorDash me something, deliver, whatever. Fuck. I like now, brother. <laughs> Ten minutes, I think. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at this. A little on the crispy side, but so good. <laughs> What's the verdict in the chat? What do you guys think? Do you think this tastes good? Do you think this tastes better than it looks? I don't think so, personally. I don't trust this guy's cooking or taste in the slightest do you think it looks tastes better than it looks i don't think so i think this is gonna yeah i'd rather eat my own dick <laughs> this is he's got hamburger bun and tartar sauce oh my god it's probably filled what's that z it's probably filled with tapeworm from the questionable cooking i'd eat and it was way more effort than this. Oh, of course, seven days. Way more effort than this by the beach. No, I start. He didn't season it. Butter isn't seasoning. <laughs> he put oil in it, and then he put butter. Oh. oh, and by the way, don't let it go over your heads. 
Did you see how small the oil that he brought with him? He brought a little tiny mini oil, lit olive oil thing, but then he had a family sized bottle of ketchup. <laughs> Look at the priorities. He remembered to bring the family size ketchup, but he had a tiny bit of oil. Absolutely incredible. I love the I love the hand behind the plate. Like we need to see it in HD, you know, the focus. Must eat with skin on. The headlamp is so I don't want to use the term dent headed, but it's a little bit on that level, isn't it? Why has he got a headlamp? Why can't I just put a lamp on the table for, for him and a bro? So are they both sitting across each other with these beams emanating for their foreheads that they're eating? That tastes so delicious. Oh my goodness. Okay. He says it tastes good. Rubio's Maybe it's better in person. The best. Oh my God. So good. Can you imagine? Can can you can you imagine? You have a young lady, right? And Chin takes you out to go camping, and he puts this on the fucking grill, and he puts this on the frying pan. Can you imagine on the grill? Can you imagine he rustles up? This is this is your food for the night. He's taking you out for a romantic getaway, right? Get away from the city, unplug a little bit, spend some alone romantic time, and he puts this on the pan. Here, babe, don't worry, I've got I've got dinner sorted, babe. You sit you sit right there. Can you imagine this is what he cooks for you? <laughs> right? And then you're sitting on the table, you're doing a you you're 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 the lady, you've got the drinks prepared. Right, you've made the table nice and cute and stuff. You cleaned it up a little bit, and he rocks up to the table, and that's what he serves you. Here you go, babe. Dinner is served. He's trying to impress you. Howdy. Day two here. Just walked down to the bank and my buddy already caught a freaking catfish. It's a smaller guy, but still it's a catfish. You could eat this for like two fish nuggets. First cast of the day. Carolina rig, liver. Beautiful. Well, Brendan just messaged our group chat that Korean zombie is about to fight right now, so I gotta I gotta bail on fishing for a bit. My buddy's gonna watch my rod and then watch the fight at our campsite. Hopefully my signal's okay. I doubt it is. It's really been tough over here. But I'll do my best. Oh here we are. Yes, baby. Where's the volume? Oh of course it's gonna <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of buffering, but you know what? Who cares? Well, I haven't been back here for a few minutes because I was watching the Korean zombie fight with Max Holloway, which was amazing. Um, but my line looks pretty taut. Let's see what this means. It could be nothing. I doubt it's something, but we'll see. Exactly 7.30. Is it camping if you take your laptop? Personally, I don't think so. At most, a tablet, but most people's phones can do the job. Take a Bluetooth speaker with you, like, I don't know, and knock yourself out and a power bank. It's not that deep, bro. If, you're, if you run out of battery, oh well, that adds to the fucking fun of the camping trip. Now you have to figure stuff out without a phone. Like, I don't know, man. It's not that deep, really. Like, the amount of shit, but again, he, he has to work, he has to all this, yeah, I don't know. It's his life.
Exactly. You should, no, everyone's saying no camping. Exactly. Camping is meant to unplug. No shot on taking a laptop. Yeah. I guess Chin's interpretation of camping is just. Ooh, we got a clap. Chin's interpretation of camping is like, um, what's that thing called when, that I do sometimes at work? Um, oh, what's the thing? Chin's idea is camping is like, it's like an, an, a remote, it's like a, a, a remote office experience type of thing. Is that what it's called, remote office? Or is that hot desking? It kind of feels like outdoors hot desking in a way. You know, like... <laughs> You know, like sometimes at work, like I have to sometimes I work at home or I'll go to like different co-working spaces and work there. But then those co-working spaces, you don't have a permanent desk. You just have to move around whatever desk is free. So it's like your hot desk. In base. It's kind of like he's doing the outdoors a little bit. Hey, baby. Oh, More bigger than yours. I can go. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Digital a little bigger than yours. Exactly. <laughs> Digital nomad trying to look busy for the boss. Exactly. Oh yeah. Is it? I go. How much would it? Would you? Would you have to get paid to live like Chin? Nothing. I, to be fair, that's the thing. The elements of his life are kind of cool. He's got the benefit of be having a, a much freer schedule than I do. He gets to kind of cool. You know, like again, he's it's a it's it's technically a work day, but he's kind of like on vacation. I don't know what, how it works, but whatever. So he's got the ability to do that, which is really good because I'm I'm big on lifestyle right i'm not really a material possessions type of dude apart from the clothes and stuff i like to wear but apart from that i don't really care about anything else so for me that ability to be like able to like you know kind of pop down to your local lake and fish or go camping or whatever it may be or go in a little drive is really fun but he just makes it so miserable so there's no no amount of money you could pay me to live that life at all zero because it just seems you know, day to day, like, you know, having to edit the fucking Fire and the Kid podcast or upload all that shit and then doing this, it just sounds like a nightmare to be fair. I wouldn't I wouldn't want this. And I, imagine how many messages come through on his fucking texts from Brendan late at night about things and stuff. It's just annoying. You can never turn off because there's always a fucking emergency you have to fucking respond to. He didn't have a time you know I mean he couldn't even leave his laptop at home when he went to Korea. No thank you. We did it, baby. We did it. We're going to get some uh, delicious catfish tacos out of this guy. Come He's on. cooking tacos again. Did he bring menudo? Yeah. Let's see what he brought with him. He's making tacos again. Right. So That was a weird fight, though. Catch and cook catfish, baby. Coming up. Yeah. All right, let's bonk this guy so it doesn't you got suffer. Your, you got yours? Or? <laughs> No, nah, this guy's on the spectrum, man. This guy's on the spectrum. He for real is on the spectrum. I don't give a shit. <laughs> he massacred. <laughs> How many times did he hit it? It was like five. How many times did he did he kill that thing, man? One, two, three, four, five. Five. He needed five. <laughs> He fucking spilled his poor fish's brains all over the place. Wow. All right, I'll finish processing this at home. So you're gonna do all that and then go home and, f and f cook it when you go home. Why don't you just make it there? Just letting you all know, this is the reality of catching cooks. Fucking hell, bro! Look at that. That's a legit murder scene. <laughs> I, I don't want to say anything more because I don't want to say anything bad and evil. But you know what I'm thinking. You all know what I'm thinking. The blood. What's the most important meal of the day? Be fast, breakfast. I'm cooking up some sausage, some bacon, cook some eggs up as well. But by the way, breakfast is not the most important meal of the day. But uh, when you're- Jesus Christ, that, that hair has not been washed in a long time, innit? It looks like Chin and Brendan have the same personal hygiene standards. Cause again, pick up my guys and girls who do wash their hair. Fuck me. 
you open it up, there's going to be some fucking cocaine clouds just like spewing from all over that, you know, like Jesus Christ, bro. Even that it's not been conditioned. Maybe it's been washed, but it's just not been conditioned, which is worse because it looks dry as fuck. Come on. Anyway, look again. Minute picking. This some bacon, time. cook some eggs up as well. But by the way, breakfast is not the most important meal of the day. But uh, when you're camping, you eat. Why does it all just look so? Why can't they just like spread these things out a little bit, a little bit of oil, and just make them look a little bit nicer? Why does it all just looks like he just dumped, like he literally just explode, like split the packet open, and just splayed it all over the pan? How are you gonna buy a four hundred pound? No, $120 fucking frying pans, but they're not just like later things are nicer on the pan, no? Why? Everything looks like it's burning. No good temperature control. Like, look at it. Why are you just like open them up? Like, some of them are stuck together. Just like, it just takes two minutes. Just spread them out a bit. Give them space around the pan to kind of fry evenly. I don't know. Again, I'm no fucking chef, but this is just standard stuff. It's how we do breakfast, baby. Sausage, bacon, and guess what we're doing now? Son of a... Pasture-raised eggs. You, sound, you know what I'm saying? Is that something you guys do over there? Why is you just like meshing it all together? Why is you just like, for like it, you know, I'm assuming cookers just, the, the temperature's kind of hot, high anyway. The bacon's going to be done really quickly. So why not just like, why does it have to be cooked? To, I guess because you want them to be warm at the same time, I'm assuming, right? But why are you like putting it, like, no? Or am I, or am I bugging out? Because if you're doing that, why don't you just make an omelette then? It's just... Like, why is he just mixing it all? I don't understand. Like, anyway, I'm asking too many sensible questions. I'm sorry. You just fucking you just do this, man. That's how you. Oh, to be Shut funny the fuck funny. up, bitch. That's how you do it, man. Tell me that is not a thing of beauty. Comedy. Come on now. Oh my goodness gracious. And you know what? I don't give a damn. This stag chili, dynamite. It's going into the sausage right now. Man, I don't care. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to add more stuff to it. Cheese. I kind of understand why he cooks out so much now. No, sorry. I understand why he eats out so much. I get why he loves Korean barbecue. Obviously, Korean barbecue is lovely, but I understand why he eats out so often because if this is his level of cooking, I can only imagine what he makes at home. Because this is this is easy. This is like anyone should be able to be able to, you know, put together a decent, you know, breakfast with a couple of eggs and some bacon and some sausages, especially with all the gear he's got. It's not that difficult to do. And he makes it look so rancid. How, how does he make bacon, eggs and sausages look so horrible? Please, someone tell me. The sausage looks like dog food. The chili's in a can, of course. I'll add some cheese. Oh, yeah. You can't go wrong with some goddamn good old American cheese, okay? Oh, my God, there's water in this cheese. Ugh. Well, it'll cook down, I think. Hopefully. Wishfully. I don't know. All right, so not going to lie, I didn't expect the cheese to be so watered down, but it should be good. All right. Let's see if we can dig into this madness right here. This concoction I made is just basically bacon Jesus with bacon grease Christ. and eggs. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, bro. How do you make it look like that? I'm, look, I'm sure it tastes decent because it's just bacon and eggs. But God almighty, bro. Like, what is this? That, that legit looks like dog food. This looks like dog food. Mm. 
eggs. And this was the main concoction I made. Stag chili, some old ass sausage that I had in my freezer for a long time. Of course, of fucking course. Old ass sausage, gone by itself by date, fucking four to shit. Of course, of course. And also cheese. That had the cheese was watered down. From all the juice in the fucking cooler. Yeah. Because the the water from my ice cooler seeped into the cheese bag. God but almighty. It man. should be okay. We'll see. God almighty. These are low carb tortillas. How does an Asian most Asian guys I've met are fucking wizards in kitchens. Wizards. Wizards in kitchens. They have their dishes they make like fucking savages. How is this guy so bad at making stuff? Like how? <laughs> how <laughs> what asian guy have you met that can't cook i i, I can't think of any honestly I, I don't think of any asian guy i've ever encountered in my entire life who cannot cook at least they've not got at least like five dishes that they're just like wizards at and this niggas can't even get bacon eggs and cheese or bacon eggs and sausage done correctly but he's got a family fucking size bottle of ketchup I hate this meal. That's hot as shit. Some sour cream as well. Let's try to add as much as I can to this stuff. Cheers. <laughs> oh, cheers in the camera. Where's his boy? Is he, under, is, he, is he under the table glazing him? Where's his fucking boy? Where's the boy gone? Or did he leave? Because we don't get any reviews from the friend about the food. Or does he not want to be on camera? He doesn't really review the food. Is that like an is that like an indication of how bad it is? The bro, my bro, my bro, he's not really, you know, he's not really telling us what the food is. I mean, like, what's happening here? Cloud, his friend turned into the food. <laughs> his friend is the food. Don't get me wrong, this is good, but a little much. Oh, really? You think so? The sausage and the chili and the cheese is a bit much, or the sausage that you've had in your fridge for like years and years and years that's probably gone off. Like, really? You think that's too, a little bit too much? No seasoning, no nothing. Let's see if the sour cream helps it. All right, here's a bite with sour cream. A lot of sour cream, actually. Why are you showing the camera? We don't give a fuck. It looks like fucking cat food. That's it. Add some sour cream to it. Shut up. So the bro sitting on. So the bro is sitting on the other side. Over there, not even in front of him. What kind of, what kind of friend is this? He took his friend to go camping. They hardly talk. He's spending more time talking to the camera. And then his friend is sat on the other side. Does he just not want to be on the camera? Is that why? Oh. <laughs> <sighs> All right, now let's make a breakfast burrito taco. Breakfast taco. Bacon, eggs, I'm gonna add some sour cream. A lot of sour cream. That's what I got so far, but I'm gonna also add this chili sausage mix of with course, cheese. Of course you are, because you made it. You, you, you judge well. me or don't judge me, I don't give a. Take away the excess carbs. Yeah. Thank you. Brand new too. Cholula. Cholula. To be straight up real, it tastes good, obviously, because the ingredients. No, are so no, it doesn't. It tastes like fucking shit. It tastes like fucking shit. That's what happens when you mix all the fucking paints into a fucking, you know, all the paints of your palette, bro. You know what I mean? Whatever. You know what I fucking mean. It goes, to, it turns to fucking brown. 
you mix every color of paint it goes brown it looks like dog shit that's what your food looks like pure dog shit mate you got all the raw ingredients there to make a decent thing and like god almighty bro somehow he wants us to believe that fish tastes good but this tastes this tastes okay cool whatever good but the sour cream come on chin it you balances gotta do everything out so much that it makes it taste that much better chin you gotta do better bro you have to do better man you're disappointing your fucking family and shit what are you doing bro because you know chin's family must be wizards in, in kitchens his mom his dad they can probably rustle up a mean you know fucking korean spread and this guy just like struggling to cook eggs and bacon and sausage <laughs> He couldn't even like, and what's what's with the burrito? Why don't you just bring some bread, and slice that up and put that on the fucking grill? Toast that shit up a little bit. Done. Or no bread, just eat the fucking bacon and the like. It's not that hard. Fry a couple of eggs, sunny side up. Actually, spread out the bacon a bit. But hey, what do I know? So yeah, sour cream and of course, Cholula. I forgot. Add kimchi to the taco slash burrito. Of course, of course. That car on the way there must have smelled funky as fuck, bro. Of course. Kimchi, sour cream, ketchup. What else, man? What else? Pull it out, man. Pull everything. <laughs> of course, there's kimchi. Heaven. That's a perfect picture of camp of, of Chin's camping trip with his friend. He's in the chair alone. The chair at the back with his friend is facing the other way and no one's sitting in it. My buddy. Make more noise with your mouth. I swear to God, I'm going to go there, run over there, and tackle your ass and punch you in the face. Okay? I like how they're trying to display their friendship by being like ultra... What do you call it? By talking to each other like this on camera, you know? They're trying to display how, like, how, like, why are they talking to each other like this for? Why are they just laughing and joking? Why are they being like, what is this? What is this display of masculinism? Like, what is this? Is this what alphas do with their friends? I'm going to go over there and punch you in the What? <laughs> what is... <laughs> Yo, big up Austin Casey, brother. Do you think Chin has straight sex, or does he have to have a bunch of gadgets and sex toys? <laughs> I want you, Austin, and everybody else in the chat who's thinking this question. Forget even imagining Chin having sex. Just imagine what he looks like when he kisses somebody. Forget sex. Just imagine what Chin looks like when he kisses somebody. Just picture that in your brain. Hopefully it's a scary thought. Then picture sex. Just imagine what he looks like kissing somebody. Of course he needs gadgets and toys. Come on. Come on. Do you think the guy that buys a 120 and again from what i remember the video that looked brand new that thing he bought looked brand new that like frying pan stack thing that he bought right he bought that just to go to the camping can you imagine what he would need to get off or what he uses to kind of you know satisfy that little thing 120 dollar frying pan to go camping on a on a whim to to like to fry fish awful yeah awful in that pan to burn everything basically, right? To the point where maybe all the coating on the inside is going to get fucking, you know, damaged from how over fucking <laughs> exposed to the heat that pan was and stuff like. Pfft. I don't know how to focus. I got it, don't worry. I'm 
No comment on the hug. <laughs> How much do you think that tent is? <laughs> How much do you think that tent is? That tent was like, it had like four quick release buttons and shit and it went down like, do you know what I mean? How much do you think that tent is? <laughs> that tent looked fucking amazing. How much do you think that tent is? <laughs> fucking old chin. Honestly, bro. I don't know what model it is. Uh, I can't see a logo. People are looking up. I, I don't know what the logo is. I don't know what model it is. I can't see what it looks like. What, what, what does that say? Oh, what's that? Omoto. I don't know what that means. Do you guys know what that is? What's, um, is it Omoto? Omoto camping tent? Is it camping tent? Let's see. Is that, what, is, is that the brand? Is it Coleman? It's not Coleman, is it? No way he's got gearless in description. No way he's got gearless in description. No way. No fucking way, Coiler. He's got a whole entire fucking PDF of the gear he's got there. Okay, no. Okay, I'm about to say. Oh, you get on to I've got to say. We've got everything in there. <sighs> Hold on, let's see. What is this? It's like a circle logo, isn't it? What is it? What, what does that name look like? Hold on, let me back it up a little bit more. What is that? Auto. Auto motor. Was it auto? Uh, sorry. Oh, um. Auto. Oh, is it otter camping tent is that it no it's not otter let's see no it's not that hmm oh moto like that it maybe it's this is it this no it's not a moto i don't know what i don't know what the brand is but i'm assuming it's, it's i'm assuming it's fucking um it's expensive What do we think? It's enhanced already. It's zoomed in. What do we think? What does that say there? It looks expensive anyway, right? It looks expensive. Whatever, let's play. It just it looks expensive. We know. The dude got a studio tent. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> his tent's probably his tent is probably what his probably his tent's probably more than some people's monthly rent. That's the thing. The one tent. Incredible. I realized the camera angle was not good on that, but you've seen me break down the tent many times, I think. Anywho, we're done here. I will probably do a catch and cook with the uh, the catfish later tonight, which I'll put in this video. But for now, see you later. Trying to make a catfish cooking video, but I heard gunshot. Was that real? <laughs> That's his neighbor. That's his neighbor um, shooting a catfish that they that they uh, catched <laughs> earlier in the day. Right? That's one of his neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Murking the catfish in the garden. Yo. Holy shit. I'm trying to make a catfish cooking video, but I heard gunshots oh. just right outside my apartment right now. Which sucks. I mean, that's a crappy start to me filming this <laughs> catch and cook. Ugh. I like how he's, he's trying to pretend to be normal and have like a normal emotion to it, but 
you know, he may or may not have, you know, murked a couple of people himself in his own in his spare time. So he, he doesn't know how to act, how to respond to it like a normal human. That kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Look, someone just died outside. Look at his reaction. I'm trying to make a catfish cooking video, but I heard gunshots just right outside my apartment right now. It just sucks. I mean, that's a crappy start to me filming this. <laughs> someone died. Look. Apartment right now. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Sir, knock knock. Sir, um, just want to let you know, um, do you hear any gunshots? Yeah, I heard gunshots earlier actually today. I um, just want to let you know that you should stay in, 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 you know, stay in place because there's been reports of a mass shooting taking place. I mean, there's over 50 victims. Oh. <laughs> do you know anyone in the area locally that, that may have been affected? No, not really. I'm just cooking some fish. Okay, no, I'll let you get back to it. Thank you. <laughs> That's how he receives the news. The police are knocking at his door like, huh? Well, you know, I went to cook my fish in peace, but, you know, we have the sirens in the background now. Huh? <laughs> Sucks. I mean, that's a crappy start to me filming this <laughs> catch and cook. Ugh. Dang it. That being said, I've already processed this catfish. I gutted it, processed it quite a bit beforehand. But uh, now I have to. S anyway, um. <laughs> is man living in fucking Baghdad? <laughs> Doesn't he live in a nice area? Isn't this like a new build flat? He lives in like a nice apartment. He pays a crazy amount of rent. It's a nice area. Like, why is this happening? <laughs> He's really disappointed. He's he's more upset that the gunshots are affecting his vlog than he's worried about who actually might have got murked outside. That's what he's actually upset about. He's legitimately upset that the gunshots have added, you know, an unnecessary background noise to his vlogs that he can't edit later out of the videos <laughs> easily or something. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Kyla. Processing is a odd way to say <laughs> murder. <laughs> Processed. That's like some altered carbon shit, you know? That's like some sci fi dystopian shit. You're going to go down here for processing. <laughs> that's what they may have said to the, you know, to the guys that Kanye doesn't like. I think that's what they said to them back in the day. Walk down this way, down this way for processing. <laughs> and there's chin at the end of the corridor with the baseball bat. <laughs> oh, actually, what's that movie where they kill people with baseball bats? Ah, oh, Clockwork Orange, isn't it, right? Where they got clubs, Clockwork Orange. Is that it, Clockwork Orange? Where they got clubs and they're killing people and shit. Um, the gang of like serial killers and shit, or mass murderers, whatever they are, right? Is it Cockpit Orange? That's what he's doing, mate. <laughs> oh fuck! Catfish. All I have to do now is fillet it and uh, skin it. So we'll do it right now. My mom has given me one thousand pieces of gloves, so I'm gonna use them right now. 40 year old man needs his mum to buy him plastic gloves. Yeah, I think not having a girlfriend is one of his, it's not his biggest concern, to be fair. I'll use one. See how annoyed he is by the gunshots. Like they're disturbing his flow of his evening. <laughs> he went like a nice it's like the scene in Hannibal. Is it Hannibal? The one with the other guy where he's like he plays like classical music and he doesn't like people talking. Is it Hannibal? He plays classical music and he doesn't like people, and he's like he's cutting everything like very slow and kind of cold, like you know, he's like, he's a bit psychotic. You know what I mean? It's like just but he wants classical music in the background. He doesn't want no interruptions and shit. He gets pissed off. He wants peace and quiet to like, you know. 
<laughs> Fuck. All right, let's get to flaying. And by the way, this is a shout out to Kirei Knives. They gave me a Deba. How much is Kirei? How much is a Kirei knife? I know it's a free one. Did I say it? K I R E I I R E I K E. Is it no K E R E I right? Why not K I R E I? How much is a Kirei knives? Jap Japanese made knives based in Los Angeles. How much are these? Why does he have all this shit when he cooks like this? I don't get this. Why is what's the point? Oh my god. Let's let's go to shop the best sellers. I'm seeing 300 already. And he got this for free. Fucking hell. Chin. What's the point of you owning these things? Look. <laughs> 120, 260 for the single knife, 380. I don't know which one he has in particular. That particular one, I don't know what shape that is. Uh, maybe it's this. Maybe it's that one. So it's two forty. The Sogimoto Chromium, uh, Molly Bendum Tor Gaito Yuto Mongolian handle with a Mongolian handle. Oh my God! These are all like made in America, handmade probably. Really incredible. What's the point of owning this stuff when you can't cook? I don't get it. I didn't even know this is, you know what? I'm going to be honest, right? I know gearheads exist in sports. I've seen it. We've all seen it. The person that wears all the, all the LeBrons, has the knee straps, has all the jerseys, but can't play. But I never knew in cooking this existed. I never knew there's people out there who spend crazy amounts in like food processors, you know, knives, plates, utensils, and they can't cook. I honestly didn't know that was a thing. I always assumed... If you're into kitchenware and knives and shit, you usually have a you know a passion for cooking. Maybe you're not like a chef, but you're a good home cook. You like you know you like to experiment with fucking different you know recipes and shit. <laughs> this nigga can't cook eggs and bacon, and he's got three hundred dollar knives. What is the point? Like, what is the point? Someone tell me what's the point of this which is good for filleting fish apparently so thank you they are my friends by the way a special knife to fillet fish my friends yeah cool it's sarah and bobby but yeah shout out to them so i'm gonna go from the tail first i saw videos on this man this is way harder than i freaking imagine okay okay i don't know how to fill i don't know how to fillet a fish I don't know how to, you know, if I caught one, I wouldn't know what to, what to fucking do, but I'm sure. Way harder than I freaking imagine. It wouldn't look like that. So he's got this $300 knife and look how he's holding this fish. Look how he's trying to, look, look at this. <sighs> Master Brandon says, you started the gills. Well, he's starting the tail. <laughs> He's starting at the tail. <laughs> he started the gills. He's doing the opposite. <laughs> I didn't want to, Tom, ruined, I didn't want to go that way, Tom. Ruined it already. I don't want to go that far. But in my opinion, again, never been fishing, never caught a fish. Like, you know, I've been on holiday, of course, and had, you know, you go on the boats and stuff and the fishmonger gets a fish for you and they cook it for you in front of you and shit. What that stuff I've done before. Cool, whatever. I never fish and caught my own fish. But I would assume, I would assume a little bit like hunting. When you're going out and hunting and shit, you have to you have to kill the animal in a particular way, not to cause it in stress, so that you know whatever things are inside it don't end up fucking ruining the meat. Because sometimes that can happen, right? The stress, whatever it may be. So you have to kill it in a certain way. I would imagine taking a fish and clubbing it over the head five times against a brick might do something to the <laughs> to the quality of the fish you're gonna eat it may do something i don't know if it is it may do something it may do but i think five clubs over the head is a bit much 
<laughs> Surely. Fuck. Okay, you know, screw the tail first. I'm gonna go the old fashioned way from the top down. Why do you even try to do it tail first anyway? So if the old fashioned way is the way that works, why do you try to do it the other way? Whatever. Dude, I suck at filleting. Hold on, is that knife not even sharp? Or is, the, or is the fish really hard to cut? What's the theory here? So he's got a $300 knife, but he doesn't sharpen it. Nothing makes sense with this guy. Nothing makes sense. Nothing makes sense. The knife is dull, exactly. He's not even doing a good ad advertisement for the knife. Dull ass, dull ass knife scam. <sighs> it's like he left the he left the fish in his oh yes, yeah, Stannis. He left the fish in his cooler all day. It's mushy now. Oh my god, Stannis. I think you're right. The fish is like. Well, let's skin this first. Yo, I think who who said that? That's a massive Stannis, bravo, bravo. I think you fucking caught it. The fish is fucking mushy as fuck, isn't it? Look when he takes it. Look, well, look at that. This. Look at this. First. What meat is left on that? <laughs> There's hardly anything there. <sighs> Just imagine he's inviting you over for dinner. Don't worry, babe, dinner's on me. Home cooked meal. You're 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 a you're an optimistic, naive girl. You think, oh, he's an Asian guy. He'd be able to cook quite well, wouldn't he? You you'd be okay to think that way. Big up, Tommy. Thank you. He is using the wrong knife. He needs to use fillet knife. Oh, really? And a fillet knife is the um. Uh, Not great. Is a fillet knife the one that's a bit like thinner? It's a bit like this, right? Is that is, is that a fillet knife? The one that's longer. I'm sure that's the one I'm thinking of, right? Fillet knife. A fillet knife, right? Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, that's the one. So he needs one of these. So, hold on. The expensive knife he used when he caught the fish is what he should be using to do this, but he's not. So he brings all the right gear to camp, but then at home, he uses the wrong gear. My head is hurting. My head is hurting me. My head is hurting me. My head is hurting me. He brings half his kitchen to the camping site, but then he doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> you you can't fillet a fish with a samurai sword. <laughs> Okay, Martin Moose is also saying catfish. Maybe it's a catfish itself. You can't. It's a. It's a. What's that? What you say? Catfish is a garbage fish. They eat trash at the bottom of the, of the lake. <sighs> oh my gosh, dude! What a failure! What a freaking. F Jesus Christ, bro. He absolutely decimated that fish for nothing. Again, I'm not, you know, I'm no fucking Greta Funberg, but isn't this kind of unethical? A little bit. Didn't just completely waste this whole thing. 
or am I bugging out? His knife is using the wrong cook. <laughs> Pick up. <laughs> His knife is using the wrong <laughs> Sorry, you drew that. His knife is using the wrong cook is fucking brilliant. Thank you. But aren't I a little bit isn't this a little bit unethical? Or, or am I being dr dramatic here? He took this fish out from his fucking humble abode. Instead of using every piece of it and eating it, right? And kind of honoring the gift of that fish, he's just he 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 clubbed it over the head five times and then transported it however many miles back from where he was all the way home only to fucking do this this whole carcass on the fucking kitchen counter what are you gonna do what are you gonna do that is you just gonna order a pizza exactly yeah marcus the fish the fish the bitch literally died for nothing <laughs> What's he gonna do now? Is he just gonna order? Uh, is he gonna order fucking Domino's? Tell you, I'm so sorry. Okay, so what I got off of this fish, I will, <laughs> I'll go ahead and put it into an egg wash and one of my favorite batters, which is Andy's. Andy's fish breading. What's he gonna make now? Nuggets. Red. You probably can't see it. Andy's fish breading red. That's all he got from that fish. Someone take his fishing license away from him. He needs his, he needs his fishing license revoked. Fucking hell. I'll do that after the egg wash and then I'll, I'll show you later. Bread that breading. Again, it's not it's not a big deal, but why can't you just crack the egg normally into the bowl? I'll show you later. Why is it all leaking everywhere? I know it's not it doesn't mean anything, but why? Why why all this stuff? Like why? Why? Like clean the cat like something. Uh, like why I'll is it all just wash and then I'll I'll show is you. Is this like an attitude thing? Like to be like a badass when you're cooking to act like you don't give a fuck? Like why is he cooking like this for? Why aren't you like treating yourself a bit nicer? Like, I don't know, making it a fun experience. Why is it all like, why is he cooking like a caveman? I don't understand this. Not even a ca like, what is this? It's all leaking on the side of the bowl. Like, why? The house is so lovely. It's a big kitchen, loads of space. Why are you just like, like, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> lovely kitchen. Lovely counters, big sink, all the surface area to like, why is he cooking like this? Spread that breading. Really? You could put that in a bowl. Let's just put it on the on the on the cutting board where I was cutting the fish. You couldn't put that separate on the bowl. There's no wash like no seasoning of the fish. I'll do some olive oil and maybe a little bit of butter, but we'll see. Butter again. <sighs> That's about it. So he's making the fish nuggets in a pot, but then he bought a $400 frying pan to take to the camping that he then burned the bacon in. Can someone tell me how that makes sense? Why is he frying fish fillets that are like that thin in a bowl in a sort in a pot can someone tell we'll me see. why is that can't you just put that in a normal frying pan or a wok if you need why is that to be in a that's about it we'll do the best we can with what we have here there's some good fillets out there all right had they been diced in like decent enough sizes to make it easy to kind of do them quickly? No, let's just whatever, however they came out, they came just out. Just egg wash. Put into the breading. Oh my God. I'll just throw everything in right now. Oh my God, bro. And then, oh my 
god, bro. Spreading. Oh my god. No. What the fuck is this, bro? Not even a touch of salt and pepper on the fish. Fucking hell. That's a very bopper thing to do like it's rubbed off on him over time to be a dipshit with things and have no respect. It's like, why? You're cracking the thing on the counter. It's spilling all over the bowls. All the fucking fish debris from when you're trying to fill it and gut it is covered all over the fucking the the cutting board. You haven't even washed the cutting board. Wipe down the surfaces. Restart. Like nothing. Just it's, like it looks like a tr like a like a like a like a like, a, like, a, like student halls. That's what it looks. It looks like he's cooking in student halls. No, he's forty. He looks like he's cooking in college. Or like a hostel shit. Like, why is it like this? Look how lovely the kitchen is. Look how lovely his fucking kitchen is. Big up, Auteur. Appreciate you, brother. But look how lovely the kitchen is. Beautiful kitchen. Massive space. So typically you do like two to three minutes. Everything is mushed. The bacon mushed. The fucking chili mushed. The eggs, everything is mushed. Why isn't it look, why? It all looks like fucking vomit. Everything he fucking does. Look at it. Look at, look at this stuff there. Look at all that shit. Look, look. He couldn't, why not just have the egg wash in a bowl? the fucking breadcrumbs in a bowl maybe some cornstarch in a bowl maybe if you want to add a little bit of extra bit maybe a little bit of cornstarch in a bowl and then just wet you know wet dry different hands standard as your fucking frying shit maybe put the fucking fillets in the fridge for a little bit so they can cool maybe <sighs> Just imagine he's inviting you around a date. Sorry, he's inviting you around for a date. Dinner's on him. I've got the dinner. Bring the wine, babe. Don't worry, I've got the dinner. You have no idea what he's doing. Like, he, like you turn up and he's doing this. Or he serves it on the plate. Like, oh my God, bro. <laughs> Typically, you do like two to three minutes. I've never seen in my entire... I swear to God, I've, I don't think I've ever seen... Did you, did, the only person I can think of like this, and again, this is not really common, but there's there is a community of Asian dudes here, especially guys from like China and stuff, right? Who are like who've got money, who come here for to do like you know to study, go to uni, and maybe they've got a lot of money where they just they just order out all the time and they can't cook for shit, but they, they don't even choose to cook; they just eat out every day, or they order takeout every day, but. I don't think I've ever met in my entire life. It doesn't matter where in fucking, you know, his part of Asia you're from, whether it's Korea, China, fucking Vietnam. It doesn't fucking matter. I don't think I've met a single guy that cannot cook or cooks to this level. I've not met one unless they're 12 or something. This guy's 40 years old. And he's cooking like this. Like he doesn't even have like, like, he doesn't even want to make the plate look like forget I know something you cook for your, yourself is whatever but I don't know something even if you live at, you live alone you, sort of, you want to make the plate good, look good for yourself at home innit like you just you're, I know you're eating by yourself but you just want to make it look nice for you it's not not for anybody just you want to just you know have something nice to look at when you sit down with your glass and your phone to watch something and you're eating you just want to make it look good I want to see what that, what that looks like on a plate So typically you do like two to three minutes on each side, but uh, for this one I'm gonna do four minutes minimum. I think. You're telling me he couldn't just have diced. He couldn't just got those fillets together and just diced them, so they were at least even sized or something. Stop pausing. Shut up, Agassino. You don't know what you're talking about. He's the expert. Shut up. Of 
course I wanted more meat from the catfish, but I just suck at filleting them. Alrighty, I'll make this two very simple ways. One with just tartar sauce. And the tartar sauce I got is from Ralph's uh, Fisherman's Wharf. This is a pretty good tartar sauce. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you here. I've got a zero carb tortilla and I'm gonna just do that too. All my Mexican homies told me how to do this. Just putting it on top of the flame to crisp it up a little bit. And then I have a piece of Gouda cheese that I'm gonna slap on it after it warms up a little bit more. I'll do it right now, actually. I'm gonna turn off the heat. And it'll still melt there for a little bit. Cheers to you all. It's a little Voodoo Ranger Fruit Force IPA. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Say cheers to the two camera angles. <laughs> Saying cheers to the two camera angles. <laughs> like they're two different audiences. <laughs> For my guys watching me on Kick, you guys watching me on Twitch. For the people on Instagram and for the Facebook. <laughs> What's this nigga doing, man? <laughs> What's he doing? <sighs> Chairs, exactly. <laughs> Get the chairs in the chat. Chairs in the chat for fucking chin. <sighs> I'm gonna fucking put it in there. Fuck this. We need we need some chairs in the chat, man. We need we need some fucking chairs. <laughs> Let's get the chairs in the chat. I've had it, I've had it with this guy, man. I fucking need a chair. There we go. Chairs in the fucking chat, man. Chairs in the fucking chat. Oh my god. Cheers. <laughs> IPA. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I love how he went to, look, you can tell the food, you, you can tell he knows the food's going to be shit. He went to have the drink first before he even took a bite of the food. He's this is the catfish. In the breading. I mean, it's looking really good. Tartar sauce. Don't, don't you have a table to sit down? Are you just going to stand up and eat like, like a savage the whole time? You have a little, you don't have a little table? Or a little foldable pull-out thing. It's nothing. You just sit there. You're just going to stand up in at, on your kitchen counter and just eat your entire meal. Like a brute. Like, just... Come on, bro. And I'll let you know how it tastes right now. If you've never fished catfish before or... If you never did a catch, just pull up a fucking stool. It doesn't need to be anything. Just pull up a little stool next to and just sit down. <laughs> Why are you just standing the whole time? You're filming a vlog. You can do anything. With catfish, or you've never eaten catfish, definitely try catfish. They're they're very fatty, so it tastes good no matter what. Um, yeah, and this one tastes like like good, like a little bit fatty, but also clean. I like how he's trying to break it to make it look good, but the breading is so fucking awful. It doesn't break the way he wants it to break. You know, he's trying to make it look like it flakes off and stuff, but like that breading is like, it's just, he's pulverized the fish itself. But fatty, but also the breading clean. is like, look at that. God almighty chin. I mean, look at that meat. Oh. It makes no 
it makes a lot of sense why he like literally comes in his pants when he goes to Korean barbecue. Because imagine what he m- cooks for himself every day. Then imagine going to Korean barbecue and having some, or going to any Korean restaurant and having what they cook. It must be a, a fucking explosion in his mouth of flavors and shit that he never usually has at home. So it's no wonder that he he loves eating out so much because his home co- his standard of cooking at home is just so terrible. Catfish is so bomb. Now let me make a little fish taco. The cheese melted on the tortilla. So what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of coleslaw that I got from- Of course, in the packet, of course. Everything in the packet, of course. Everything in the tin, in the packet, of course, of course. The deli at Ralph's, just a tad bit. And then a little bit of avocado. Not too much. Thank God he didn't get this out of a fucking packet. That's good. Just a couple of slabs. That's all you need right there. Add some catfish. Wrap it up. To add to this, of course, hot sauce, right? So I love tapatio, but Cholula, honestly, is my favorite. That's so good. He can't even figure out how to operate. He can't even figure out coleslaw in the fucking plastic container. Microplastics. Literally microplastics in his food. Literally microplastics the fuck now with the Cholula We don't care about the second angle. It doesn't make a difference, bro. Just continue fucking cook eating. A healthy serving. Mm. So good. All right. That's it for tonight. Hey, yo, big up Archway. Big up my guy Archway. Smiley face. Smiley face. Smiley face. Yeah, bro. That's North American culture. Ha ha, it's way different from Europe. UK born, raised yes, in the North. Yes, yes, yes. Big up Archway. Big up, big up. Bang, bang, Archway. Big up Archway, the gang out there. Yeah, man, like, I don't get this shit. I don't understand what's going on here, but I also don't want to say this is North American culture. I think this is just him in particular. He's, he's, he's a fucking redact. I'm sorry. I love Chin. I like you and stuff, but... He's a legit redact. I don't think this is North American culture. I think Chin is just redacted. Like, in the nicest way possible, he's actually redacted. He might be actually redacted. Because I can't understand how he eats this shit. Willingly. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this stuff, consider subscribing. You don't have to, but whatever. Imagine asking people to subscribe to your channel while you're you got food in your fucking mouth. Thank you all as always for supporting the channel, supporting me and everything I do. I appreciate you so much. Uh, I'm gonna do more giveaways. I have an, a giveaway in my mind right now. It's gonna be. <laughs> As long as you don't, you don't send anyone fish, it's okay. A very expensive giveaway. It's a camera. Um, I'm not sure which video it'll be, but it will most likely be in the next video. Crash, you're right. We do have some of the worst food on the planet. But I tell you this, if I had a lake the way he has next to him, where I could go and fish, fresh fish, like not fish that's been fucking contaminated by the fucking River Thames and shit, right? Like, catfish and shit you can't get catfish in the river thames let me tell you that if i had the possibility to do that 
I guarantee you, I would not fucking um, disrespect um, <laughs> the fishes that I catch by treating it the way that he's treated it. Like, th- th- like that's it. Simple as that, basically. And look at his kitchen. My kitchen is like, my kitchen might be like half of this. That's probably my kitchen. Maybe just this from there to there. Not even this sink. It probably might just be from here to here. It's just might be, or it might just be this counter is the size of my entire kitchen. And he has a fucking island, a big, massive, lovely fridge, all of these fucking cupboards, a gas stove. Like, I would love a gas cooker. I don't have one. I have an electric one because the building I live in is whatever, whatever it is. And it's probably not health and safety. I don't know. But a gas, gas cooker would be so much better to use than, than electric, especially to control the temperature and shit. And look at what he's making in this kitchen. It's a waste. All right. Have a good night. Sweet dreams. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Dang it. Exactly. Um, Aryan privilege. Oh, no. So, um, exactly. Could have found a charter boat. An uh, auto says here, paying 2500 a month for that kitchen is an insult to food. Exactly. Why pay that much when you can't even cook? Like I know that tortilla technique he says from his homies. I guess he's got what? I guess he's I guess he knows I get whatever, but can't you just get a frying pan? And then just do the same thing with those tortillas on the frying pan and have better control of how the heat sort of like spreads across the tortilla and no, like just a little bit of care in what you do. Couldn't you do that? Like, why is he do it? Like, why is he like, why is he treating his kitchen like a trap house? Like, you don't, you don't live in a bando, bro. Like, why are you doing that to the... Anyway, I'm done. I'm done. I'm over it. I'm done. No mass. It's already late here. <sighs> Fuck it. That poor fucking fish got fucking murdered for what? A couple of nuggets and one tortilla. He murdered that fish for a couple of nuggets and one tortilla. That he covered in coleslaw with fucking plastic in it <laughs> good Look, man. Look, I don't know what to say. I, I don't know. I don't know nothing to say. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. <sighs> Fucking hell! He invites you over. Don't worry, babe. I've got dinner sorted. Just bring the drinks. You're the girl. You get some drinks, right? You get yourself a nice bottle, some a wine. You might get yourself some beer. You might bring a nice refreshing drink with you. Maybe a juice. Whatever you're into. You're looking forward to the date. You maybe arrive. You know, you haven't eaten anything. So you're, you're kind of hungry. So you actually want to. You're looking forward to the chat. The company and the food. And then he pulls out that. He pulls out that shit. That's what he pulls out to. He says, yeah. Don't worry. I'll be there in a minute. You're you're in the you're in the living room waiting and you're you're taking little glances, right? While he's cooking a meal, you're taking little glances at what he's doing in the kitchen. You're taking little glances. You're looking over the kitchen, you're like, hold on, what's he doing? You know he's just sure what's going on, right? And he's doing that. You 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 see the way he's holding the fish, you're like, hold on. That doesn't, it doesn't look like he knows what he's doing. 
he's doing this. You know, you're in the kitchen. You you you're, you're waiting. You're have, you're taking a sip of your wine. You you're taking little cheeky glances over, but you're a little bit like. You know, is that how you're meant to cook the fish? You're a bit worried, but you're like, hold on, I trust him. He's an Asian. He talks about food pretty well. He seems to be, you know, he seems to be a, a cultured individual. He travels a bit, right? And then <laughs> you're seeing this. And then finally, you see that when you pop over to the toilet, you walk past the kitchen and say, how's it going? And you see him doing that. You see this. That's your dinner. Somehow he's going he's gonna to make this into your dinner. And then he's, he says he's going to make you fish nuggets. So you're like, oh, I'm looking forward to that, right? Catfish nuggets. And then look at how he prepares it. This is how he's preparing his catfish nuggets. The same cutting board he uses to fucking process the fish is where he's going to be making these fucking nuggets. He sprays the fucking breading on, on the fucking cutting board. No wash, no rinse, no bowl on the side, nothing. No, no fucking, you know, no nice touch, nothing. Just spraying the fucking breadcrumbs on the cutting board that he used to gut and process the fucking fish there look at this shit look at this shit doesn't even bother to get the the remaining carcass of the fish and dice it up into nice little chunks nothing just whatever it, it, it whatever, however it, it fucking ended up he just pours that into the Egg mix and no cornstarch, no flour, just vibes straight into the fucking breading. And you're there sipping your sipping your wine like <laughs> Are you looking forward to the Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the meal actually. <laughs> and you're hungry. So you you want to eat it, but you're like, this doesn't look great. And then he's putting butter and olive oil into a pot to fry nuggets. Not a frying pan. He's putting whatever. And look at it. Look at it. That's like fish nugget casserole. <laughs> That's what it is. Fish nugget casserole. <laughs> right? And then that's what you end up with. That's That's your meal. That's your date night meal. That's your meal in. That is what you're going to shovel down your fucking esophagus. That shit. That. All that fuel in the car. All that gear he took to the campsite. All that time sitting on the fucking, you know, sitting, waiting around to get a, a bite from the fish. All of that patience, all of that work, all that money spent for that that's where I'm out anyway it's late here I'm finished I'm done I can't do I can't do anything I can't do anything more I'm going to leave it there because yes <laughs> I can't I can't I can't I can't anymore I can't <sighs> Thank you so much for all of you for tuning in. I appreciate every single one of you. It's been a blast. 